Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Glad you could attend. And yes, today on the Chop and Block is the second film in the Star Trek reboot franchise from J.J. Abrams. We've got Star Trek Into Darkness, okay? And this time around, Kirk and company are chasing a terrorist who blew up a chunk in London and has some kind of vendetta out for the Federation. But as they chase the terrorist, they uncover a mystery uh, with the Federation and start finding some deep, dark secrets that they're really not meant to know about. And we see how things play out from there as they uh, exchange words with said villain and find out things aren't exactly what they seem with the Federation that they have grown to love and serve. Folks, Into Darkness, uh, Star Trek Into Darkness was a fun film. Okay, this is a fun summer film. Definitely had a blast at it. Uh, some great special effects. Always fun to see the Enterprise. Uh, some humorous moments and some uh, very edgier seat moments in this film. So I really enjoyed it as a film where it stands alone. Okay, uh, you know, I love this whole cast and especially bringing Benedict Cumberbatch in here. He's fantastic in Sherlock. He was fun in this film as the villain, okay? Really loved when he did the dialogue parts. He could do action okay, and there's some great fight scenes in here as well. But I really love when he was exchanging dialogue with Kirk. You saw it in the trailer, and there was just some great monologue in here that he gives that, you know, he just delivers it so fantastically. He's almost too good for the role that he's in, or too good for the script, if you will. I'll get to that in a minute. The special effects were fantastic. Now, I didn't see it in 3D Distraction. I saw it in 2D, and that was fine with me. Could tell what everything was going on. Still visually stunning film, as to be expected nowadays with a you know a spe with the big summer blockbuster popcorn film. So no disappointments there. All right, and everybody does well in the roles they have. Uh, and the direction by J.J. Abrams was fantastic. Kept you on the edge of your seat. There were some humorous moments. All the things that you look for from a Star Trek film. Now, the only thing I kind of had a problem was with the script. Now, the story and the concept was great. What they did with the villain and the things that they had about finding out the Federation wasn't all exactly what everybody uh, was perceiving it as. I mean, I, I loved those angles that they took with it. The parts that actually didn't quite fit was when they were trying to make references to the previous old Star Trek films, namely Star Trek II. Uh, there were, you know, it was like I was enjoying really great chunks of it, and then all of a sudden, we, it's like insert reference to Star Trek II here. Okay, so I, I kind of had to approach this from if you haven't seen Star Trek II, Wrath of Khan, or the original movies, uh, you'll probably really, really enjoy this. If you're a big Trekkie fan like I was, uh, definitely when I was a kid, I mean, it's because of Star Trek I've met some of my lifelong friends, but uh, it, you're going to catch those references to other Star Trek, and I don't mind that. They, they kind of had those peppered in the original uh, reboot, Star Trek uh, 2009, but in this one, it was even more so, almost to the point of where you got kind of didn't want that, okay? You established this is a new timeline. This is new things that happening. And while new things happened in this one that didn't happen in uh, Star Trek II Wrath of Khan, there are also so many moments in here where you're going, why did you feel to go that route when you could have gone a different route and still had it been uh, exciting and been Star Trek light and very entertaining? So a few notches uh, off for that, okay? I just, I really would have wished they would have stud more original and taken in different directions than trying to almost what seemed like force some of these references to the old Star Trek. You established you got a new timeline, a new Star Trek, so stick with that because that's working for you. I like all these new characters. Simon Pegg was hilarious. Uh, Scotty in here. They gave all the characters something to do, okay? Uh, only, it almost seems like though some of the characters took a little bit of a step back, too. Like, you know, your Kirk is really the big rule breaker, and Spock is really the tight ass. You know, it's almost like they took a step back a little bit in their development. But, on the whole, as a summer popcorn sci-fi film, this is a blast. You definitely get your money's worth and you'll enjoy it. While diehard Trekkies out there may have a little bit of trouble with it because of the sheer volume of references that they did to the original Star Trek, I think it'll be enjoyment viewing for everyone. I gave it three and a half stubs, okay? Three and a half stubs for Star Trek Into Darkness. While I didn't quite care for some of the bits in the script overall, I had a lot of fun at this movie. I love the performances by everybody, and I think you will too. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.